I've tapped all of my sources at Mother Honda, and I'm going to violate the rules and tell you everything I know right now about the 2021 Honda Goldwing. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. I'm Cruise Man, and welcome to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. And I have to reveal a little bit of honesty. I have no sources at Mother Honda. And I know absolutely nothing about the 2021 Honda Goldwing, other than I do have a pretty extensive wish list of things that I would like to see. And I think they're doable for Honda. So let's go through these things and please feel free to put some information in the comments down below. I'd love for you to weigh in on this as well. These are just a few of the things that I've thought of off the top of my head. I'd love to know what your wish list is as well. Maybe Honda, maybe somebody at Honda will see this. And before they go into production on the 2021 models, maybe some of these things can be integrated if they're not in the works already. So let's get started. We got to talk about the front suspension. I'm okay with the suspension on my 2018 Goldwing, but it's definitely undersprung in the front. It, uh, it seems to bottom out too often. Uh, I don't have a huge problem with it, but I only weigh about 182 pounds. So it's probably not an issue for me, but if you're heavier or if you ride a lot with a passenger, uh, I can see where it could bottom out on you quite often. And you shouldn't have to spend thousands of dollars on a suspension upgrade on a motorcycle that's this expensive. So I would like to see Honda do something to address that suspension, especially the front suspension on the 2021 Honda Goldwing. Now, if Corbin can tool up to design a taller trunk lid for the Goldwing, I see no reason why Honda can't do this as well. There's no reason why Honda can't add another inch or inch and a half to the height of the trunk lid. Ultimately, I'd love to see the whole trunk redesigned where it's about an inch wider, deeper, uh, taller all the way around, but that would require a pretty extensive change to their tooling. But just changing the lid would not require that much effort on Honda's part. And like I say, if Corbin can afford to do it, I think Honda could handle this as well and offer this on the 2021 Honda Goldwing. I'd like to see the XM antenna built in on the 2021 Goldwing. I don't think it should be required that you take the whole front end of the bike apart just to install an XM antenna. Uh, it's a $99 option from Honda, which seems a little extreme, when, especially when you can buy a XM antenna on eBay for about $10. So it just doesn't seem like it costs that much for Honda to go ahead and include that XM antenna. And while you're at it, Honda, why not go ahead and include the switches for the home link and the fog lights. Go ahead and install those in the uh, center panel switch so that you don't have to take the whole bike apart uh, just to install the fog lights or uh, the home link system. You would sell a lot more fog lights and you'd sell a lot more home links if you had those switches built in because the cost of installation is through the roof at a dealer. Now I have videos on how to install all of these uh, on YouTube, but it still can be a major uh, installation process. So Honda, go ahead and just put those switch buttons on the center uh, panel switch and be done with it. One of the safety features, I think, for the 2021 Goldwing that Honda seriously needs to address is the horn button. The placement of the horn button, especially as compared to the earlier previous generation Goldwing, is way too high and very hard to find when you're, if you don't take your eyes off the road. I can't tell you how many times I've reached for that horn button and I've accidentally hit the you know, press to talk switch or even the turn signal cancellation button uh, because the horn button is up so high, I miss it. I think they could redesign that button so that it uh, kind of extends out over the corner of the hand control and maybe is a little bit more extended. So it's a little more obvious when you're wearing gloves what button that is. And then you could easily reach for it and find it. And uh, I, I just think Honda really needs to rethink that horn button design. Now, 
What do you think? Do you like to where the horn button is right now? Have you ever found yourself missing the horn button when you go to honk the horn? Or uh, are you okay with it the way it is? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, Honda included a beautiful TFT LED screen on this 2018 to 2020 Goldwing. I think they should put that to better use. I think you should be able to program this screen with different colors, maybe different layouts where you could uh, lay out the information differently. And come on, let's have a digital speedometer as an option to display on that beautiful TFT screen. It's there. We might as well use it. Now, I'm going to mention some other things that I think Honda should consider. And I, you know, to be, uh, to be perfectly fair to Honda, I wouldn't have a problem if they offered these things at an additional cost. I think they should consider an LX version of the Goldwing, which has basically it's pretty much fully loaded. You don't have to uh, have a dealer install anything. And it would have these additional features that would be at additional expense to Honda. So this is why I say I wouldn't have a problem paying extra thousand to two thousand dollars if they had these additional features. I think some two-tone colors and some new exciting colors uh, would be uh, interesting. So, you know, an interesting green. I would prefer an interesting brighter blue, maybe blue and silver or blue and black. And uh, I'd love it if they bring back that pearl yellow. I love that yellow. And I know some of you, it's either a love or hate thing, but I think it's really, really nice. And go ahead and make the two-tone colors only available on the airbag model or on the LX model if they do come out with an LX model. I'd like to see a completely different audio package on this LX model Goldwing. And what that different audio package would include is it would have built-in Wi-Fi. Now that means when you pull into your home or your garage, it could connect to your home Wi-Fi system. And that way it could download any updates to the navigation system, the audio system, automatically over Wi-Fi. You wouldn't have to copy it to your computer, put it on a USB card, and then upload it and wait an hour for the bike to update. You basically just leave the bike in ACC mode and it's connected to your home Wi-Fi and it can update. Now this new audio package would also include a much better navigation system from Garmin compatible with Basecamp and a lot of us use Garmin GPS uh, we've had to spend the extra money to get a Garmin GPS on our motorcycle. Honda can license that technology from Garmin and put it in this new audio package. It's going to cost Honda more money, so I am perfectly fine with paying for it as part of this LX package. But this package needs to have something even more important. It's not only a safety feature, but it's also a convenience feature. And that is the audio system could be completely driven by voice commands. We shouldn't have to take our eyes off the road to make changes to the navigation system, to change radio stations, or to do anything. We should be able to talk to the motorcycle. Hey Goldwing, set FM station 670, or hey Goldwing, turn on FM or, hey, Goldwing, show me my navigation screen. You know, you should be able to do all of these things with voice commands. Cena has this. Cardo has this ability. To my knowledge, Garmin does not have this built into their GPS systems, and I don't know why. But if Honda did this and they worked with Garmin on this, this would be the most unique different thing, and it would be a huge selling point for the Honda Goldwing. It'd be the only motorcycle that has anything close to that. You could literally say, hey, Goldwing, show me the closest Chinese restaurants. And it would pull those up on your navigation screen, and they would be listed by number, one, two, three, four, by name, and how far they are from you. And you could say, hey, Goldwing, take me to number five and it would route you right to number five. Or, hey, Goldwing, I need gas, and it would take you to the closest gas station to get gas. Now, these are out-of-the-box ideas. I understand that. But remember, I'm talking about an LX package 
that you're paying an extra thousand or two thousand dollars for and you could have all these really cool high-tech features. How about an electronic parking brake? Now I know this would be an additional cost for Honda to develop something like this, but how many times have you, if you've got a DCT transmission, how many times have you ridden off with the parking brake on? And I know that some companies out there make some products to help you to prevent you from doing this, but if you had an electronic parking brake, you wouldn't have to worry about it. As soon as you turn the bike off, it would engage the parking brake, and as soon as you put the bike in D or drive, it would disengage the parking brake. This is something that I think a lot of Goldwing owners would really love to have, so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you like an electronic parking brake? One more thing that I want to add, this is my last feature uh, that I want to talk about on this LX model, and that is wireless Android and Apple CarPlay. You should not have to plug your telephone into the glove box to use these features. Um, it's the one thing that really keeps me from using Android Auto right now, and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. I don't know why Honda designed the bike so that you'd have to leave your phone plugged in to the glove box, which doesn't really have a lock on it. So if you walk away from the bike, you're leaving your $1,000 cell phone in the glove box potentially exposed. It just is not a good design. And really, this whole wireless revolution it, some cars now come with wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, and I think Honda's premier motorcycle should come with the same thing. So I am anxious to hear your thoughts on what you would like to see in the 2021 Goldwing. In no way do I mean to imply that any of these things are going to end up in the new Goldwing. It could be years before we see any of these things. But if we don't talk about it, if we don't ask for it, if we don't make it something that uh, is a public discussion on YouTube or on Facebook, then Honda will never really know what we want out of a new Goldwing. So please share your comments and your thoughts down below. Thanks again for joining me today, and I'll see you the next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.